Hey there. Today we're going to be talking about Aperture, uh, its role in photography, videography, what exactly it is and does, and what you can do with it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. So like I said, we're going to be talking about Aperture uh, and what exactly it is. So first off, let's figure out what an Aperture is. Uh, an Aperture in photography, uh, in photographic terms, is this, this little action in the lens. Now, this is an old lens. This is probably from the 70s or six, uh, 70s or 80s. So it's, it's a little bit of a vintage lens. You're not gonna be seeing too many of these on modern cameras, modern digital cameras. Um, however, this camera does have something that I really enjoy, and that is a physical, uh, physical aperture control. So you just saw there and heard probably the aperture itself is this little diaphragm in the middle of this lens. And uh, what that does is it controls the amount of light that comes in. Uh, so of course we've got the exposure triangle, uh, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. For right now, we're just gonna be focusing on the aperture uh, and what exactly it does to an image. So here in a little bit, we're gonna be having a, uh, a demonstration, a live view through the camera of what exactly it is that an aperture does. Um, so most lenses, uh, if not all of them, will have an adjustable aperture inside of them. Uh, these can range anywhere from uh, f1.4, which is considered a very fast lens, uh, all the way down to f22 is the closed, uh, is, is the, the highest aperture I've ever seen. Uh, on a lens that I've owned. Um, now, what do those numbers mean exactly? Well, this is an f16. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, an f1.4 would be something like this. Uh, you can see straight through the lens at f1.4, meaning it lets in the most amount of light. Um, f16, conversely, is a small hole uh, in the lens meaning it lets in a, a, a lot less light. Uh, now, there are a few things that happens outside of just metering with apertures. Um, you get what's called depth of field, um, or image separa uh, separation. So image separation is something that you can use on portraiture, uh, uh, or even product photography. Um, if you want to separate the subject of your image from its background, you would shoot wider open. Um, now, shooting wide open does come with a few disadvantages. Uh, for example, you might have chromatic aberration. Uh, the image might be soft. Uh, you have a much narrower window of focus, um, where at something like f5.6, you're still going to get a lot of image separation, you're just going to have not as much of it, but your, your subject is also going to be a lot sharper and a lot more in focus. So we'll go ahead and swap over to a live view of what exactly uh, it looks like to switch between apertures uh, in a live video. So I've enlisted the help of a couple of friends here uh, to help me demonstrate a little bit more uh, depth of field um, and demonstrate a little bit more practically. So right now we have the focus point set to this stuffed animal's eye here in the very front. Well, everything else is in the uh, out of focus in the background. Um, that separation between the focal point and the background uh, is the result of this lens currently reading uh, f5.6, which is as wide open as this lens will go for the moment. So if we can, if we uh, if we stop down a little bit to 6.3, 7.1, f8, uh, we're starting to see a little bit more uh, pop into focus. And so going out to f9, uh, you can start to see the uh, blanket there on the left is starting to crisp up a little bit more. The duck in the background is starting to come into shape a little bit more. Uh, at f11, the duck is now pretty much in focus. Um, while there's still a little bit of image separation behind the duck, uh, the, both the duck and the dog are in focus now. 
if we stop down to f14, uh, we'll start to see even more in the background come into shape. At f18, uh, most of the image is in focus. Uh, even if it's not very well lit, you can start to see um, the duck is now completely in, uh, completely in focus, is completely sharp, uh, along with the dog. And now at f22, uh, f22, pretty much the entire image is in focus. It's all sharp. It's all there. Um, so hopefully this was uh, uh, helpful or useful to you in, in understanding depth of field a little bit more. Um, feel free to ask me any questions. If you have any, uh, I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks.